Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Shooters experience Newton's third law firsthand with recoil, the backward momentum of gas that fires a bullet. Momentum from the bullet must be equal and opposite to the momentum of the gun. Depending on the caliber of the firearm, recoil can severely alter a shooter's accuracy. To address this problem, many AR-15 owners choose to use a muzzle brake. Second Amendment advocate and longtime shooter Christy Messenger, better known as Tactissy, helps us demonstrate. Muzzle brakes are devices attached to the muzzle that redirect gases upward or sideways. There are different designs, but brakes are usually small, tubular devices that utilize chambers and holes or vents. When the rifle fires, the gas is redirected, which decreases the momentum moving backward towards the shooter. Most muzzle brakes reduce recoil by about 50%, which can highly improve accuracy. Muzzle brakes have their disadvantages too. Shooters commonly complain that brakes can be costly, add too much length to the barrel, and increase noise. Brakes create a pressure wave that moves horizontally away from the gun. This increases noise for other shooters on the range. Brakes have also been known to alter the point of impact and damage scopes. Rifle scopes are designed to withstand a violent backward acceleration and a gradual deceleration. When the gas reaches the brake, the deceleration becomes extremely sudden, which can lead to damaged scopes. However, if you want to reduce the impact of recoil using large caliber firearms, a muzzle brake may be just what you need. For Firearm Science, I'm Jesse Duff. See you next time.